Hey friends, thanks for joining me for prayer. I just am so thankful that God has invited us in, in James chapter 1, verse 5 to ask him for wisdom. If any man lacks wisdom, let him ask of God, who joyfully gives to us uh, what is needed. So we're going through the book of Proverbs, we're reading the different statements about wisdom, what is wise, and then asking God to help us infuse that into our life, into our thinking. And I just want us to look quickly at Proverbs eleven twenty eight. It talks about riches. You know, the, the pressure cooker of the world um, and our flesh is always to put our confidence, our trust, our faith in the resources that we have, whether it's the cash that we have or uh, paychecks that we have or wealth and generational wealth that comes from our families or maybe our 401ks or our savings account. There's just kind of the natural pressures of life move us that way. And the, the warning throughout Scripture is that a wise person doesn't trust in riches, they trust in God. Just, just listen to this, Proverbs eleven twenty eight: 28, he who trusts in his riches will fall, but the righteous will flourish like the green leaf. Friends, you and I will go through ups and downs economically. U.S. is going to go through ups and downs economically, but right now seeing inflation devour everything that you and I have saved. Uh, we've seen interest rates go up and that affects everything in our lives. The, the one thing that you and I can count on is that there's a God in heaven and he loves us and cares for us. And as he provides for us, you and I are to put our trust, our confidence in him, not riches. Father, I just pray that we would not be deceived uh, by this generation, by uh, politicians, by others, by the marketing system around us, or even by our own flesh to put our confidence in riches. God, we know that these things are um, uh, perishable. These things come and go. These things go in cycles. Help us to learn what it is to be content with little and to be content with what is much in the different seasons of life. God, our trust and confidence is in you. God, thank you for loving us. In Jesus' name, amen. If you're just joining us, Proverbs 11:28. listen to this. He who trusts in riches will fall, but the righteous will flourish like a green leaf. Hey, friends, hold on to Jesus. Hold on to his promise. Hold on to his presence. He's going to carry us through. Mm -hmm.